In 2010, Jeffrey Katzenberg announced that there was going to be six chapters uh, to Kung Fu Panda. One year later, in 2011, we had Kung Fu Panda 2 at that point was released, and now five years later, here we are in the third chapter. How difficult, I guess, is it to kind of mine this world, mine these characters for fresh stories, um, keep things new, keep things progressing forward so that it doesn't feel stagnant and it, it tells a new story. I mean, that's the difficulty a lot of times with sequels is they get trapped in doing the same thing but with a new number. So how, how difficult was it to kind of it, put a new it, thing together? It's actually quite easy to find new ideas because Poe is such a d deep character. There's so much richness in the world and all the people who have made it have been working on it for many, many, many years. So we know these characters. Down. That's right. And we, we want to make something exciting for ourselves. It has to be new and exciting and far more, definitely not static, for us to be passionate and excited making it. Yeah, and you know, I find that the, the challenge for this particular franchise is to truly be true to the character himself. You know, I'm, I hope we did a great job with the story. I hope every installment of this movie uh, series was fantastic from a story point of view, but I do know that what we do have is something special in the character himself. And the way that I always compare it is that, you know, I'd much rather go to the post office or the DMV with someone I love than going on a fantastic adventure with someone I can't stand. <laughs> and so we do love Poe. And so our job truly is to make sure that we deliver on the friend that, that so many fans have come to know and love. And that is something that we are more concerned about. And of course, hopefully we did a great job with the story too. <laughs> well, how quickly does uh, a new movie come together or a new story concept? Because between the first Kung Fu Panda and the second one was, I think, only two or three, I think three years in total. Now we're looking at a little bit longer. Um, it actually takes about four years to make one of these films. That's how long films. it takes to make yeah. It's not like, yeah. we're like, oh, we chill for two years. Well, then make it. I mean, like, like <laughs> once, once a film kind of ends, um, I mean, there's a, there's a decompression period we're at that vacation. point <laughs> to, to kind of say, I need to, yeah. need some yeah. headspace to get away. And in a way, we also like to know how the audience, feel, mm -hmm. how the fans yeah. feel, because it's not that we said like just put them out. You know, if the audience love it, they respond beautifully to the movie, then we get excited again. If you know, maybe they love it, but they didn't like something about it, it's kind of important for us to understand that. Well, how quickly though, like for for this, for for example, how quickly after the last film did you did you guys start to say? Um, I think we have yeah. something to, to sort of move forward with. We took a break. We worked on we, we took a break. We took a break. We worked on something else for a little while, but mainly, I think it was about six months of working on At something least. else. But one of the big things that a lot of people asked us after the second film was, is Poe going to meet his panda father? Because now they wanted to know. Just like at the end of the first film, everyone said, why is Poe raised by a goose? <laughs> and so that guided us to the second film. But this one was about answering about where Poe comes from and who that guy in the mountain was. That's right. So that helped us guide us into our story development. And another thing that we did was uh, we got all the heads of the department together and we did a big brainstorm session. What are the things that we never got to do before that we want to do this time? Mm -hmm. And we literally made a list and that is what we started crafting yeah. this film with. And again, you know, in, what, in this kind of franchise, it all comes back to the character. And instead of thinking what story we want to tell, it's always easy for us to say, what do we want to see Poe do next? Who would we juxtapose Poe against to trigger a new interesting mm -hmm. dynamic? There was some, some story, the, the story kind of morphed, I guess, uh, over the years. There were some recastings along the way, um, different elements to kind of obstacles for you to overcome, I guess, in order to get to the, to the final product. Does animation, I guess, allow a little bit more leeway in that because now, uh, you're not, you don't have to go to locations and, and reshoot or bring back cast crew. Is it allow you to tweak along the way with a little bit more ease? It's constantly tweakable, but at a certain point you really can't. And in, in the case of animation, especially in the boarding process, it's completely normal, in fact, necessary to reinvent the movie over and over and over again. We board, like to storyboard rough drawing paths of the movie is when you have like 10 people working mm, on the movie. When you explore where the story could be. Yeah, we basically explore every wrong version of the movie and we've maybe boarded 20 versions of this film in order to hone down to exactly what movie we really want. And that movie's been kicked hard, yeah. trying to figure out whether it'll stand up to it. It's true, and, and you know, the double-edged sword of animation is that it takes so long to make, which unfortunately allows for doubt to seep in. You know, could we come up with a joke that we love, we're not going to laugh at it two years down the line. We're going to be like, okay, we got to trust ourselves for it. So the, the, the danger is that when you have so much, such a long process, doubt could seep in. But at the same time, it does allow for the fact that when, if you have any little, you know, 
bolt of genius says, oh my god, I know how to solve this small problem, we do have a chance to go and adjust it, far more than if you have principal photography in a live action movie. Mm -hmm. Are there three more chapters to get out of Poe? We try to make sure <laughs> each movie we're working on is a fully self-contained and satisfying experience. Yeah. Because we have to. We spend four years on all these things. If we're spending three, four years on an interstitial chapter, we'd probably be very upset. And I think the movie would not be good. No, we want to make sure we just you know, blow it, blow it out with exactly. each film that we make, and so we don't really think about the next one while we're working on it. Should the movie finish with this one, we'd be happy. Should the franchise finish with this one, we'd be happy. If the audience love Poe and want more of it, we'll see what happens next. But Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you so awesome. much.